On the onset, a top mount swan neck wing stand may actually look to be more detrimental to rear wing performance than a direct bottom mount aerofoil shaped wing stand because it is in the way of both the lower and upper section of a rear wing's airflow. Yet, it is the choice used on contemporary racing cars. So what is the idea behind separating the stand and the main wing element? Wouldn't airflow past the swan neck mount still create a trail of turbulence that goes past the underwing as well? Of course it will, but ironically a lot less and it is here that we explore a possibility as to why this is happening. We are going to use illustrations from Simon McBeath's article on Mulsan Corner's website, one of the earliest pieces on the subject online. A link is added on the title description. Generally, it has been seen that a steep wake builds up from the front of the bottom mount stand rearwards. The stand and main wing's approach angle, when attached, would combine and give a steeper angle around the seam's meeting point. And this may be what causes the extra turbulence compared to a top-mount wing stand structure. After the approach angle opening is the tail end angle of the stand and wing. This combined effect on its closing shape of the mount with the wing angle going upwards and away from the mounting point also creates a total steeper closing angle this time that further is more airflow detachment and turbulence resulting in reduced wing downforce performance. When CFD or wind tunnel weeds something like these pictures Definitely, there is room for improvement at the back of this that the best airflow for a wing in regards to downforce would be via and plate mounted without any stand in the way to create turbulence. Running a stand, however, may be more beneficial when flexible wing is accounted for. Probably even more so for the swan neck top mount type because the distance of the stand will be greater from the vehicle's main body mounting point to the main wing element, compared to a bottom mount wing's straight and direct path from body to main wing mount. It is also important to note that the top section of a wing is positive pressured air, so turbulence will be much less of an issue, as compared to the bottom section where it works on higher velocity negative pressure sensitive airflow. Disturbances here will cause even more turbulence and degrade wing performance further. Direct attachment types also replicate traits shared by the end plate with the attachment trapping airflow. End plates are to enclose a wing, ensuring airflow goes over its purposed upsweep design and not around it. The end plates is to make a wing more effective and since a wing is about changing the trajectory of airflow, by ensuring airflow goes over it and not around it to create pressure difference, any concept remotely close to it is not favorable when it comes to minimizing drag or minimizing drag to further influence the effect of another aerodynamic apparatus that comes after it. So this may be why bottom mount wings are less effective than top mount wings in producing downforce. With top mounted wings, the stand and main wing is separated. Airflow will go past the stand unhindered and then to the main wing element, leaving a clear lower wing section. Add the fact that the negative pressure high-speed airflow 
underwing section produces more downforce than the top wing's positive pressure. Top mount wings would sacrifice the latter for more gains in total with better airflow on the underwing, even though the forward wing stand is in the way of airflow for both top and bottom wing sections. What would be interesting is a combination of the two. Having the stand hold the main wing only until its midpoint of the stand. The opening shape of the stand won't interrupt the underside of the main wing's opening angle, so it won't combine its opening dimensions with the lower main wing opening dimensions. By the time it reaches the stand's midpoint, the closing end, this is where the main wing is mounted. The underwing opening dimension may match the closing section of the stand's dimension. The two opening and closing dimensions combined will neutralize opposite of having a design that opens and closes in sync, like the lower stand type. This will smoothen out airflow on the top of the wing without much turbulence on the lower section. Airflow on top of a wing plays an important role in making the lower portion of a wing work. With smoother airflow, it could improve the overall wing performance.